And there's the bell. An important thing to remember is the team that protects each other and works frequent tags will be in a much better position to win this. Oh, man, you take a shot like that and you feel it for weeks. The Miz with a reversal. Don't sleep on The Miz. He can strike at any time. The Miz is one of the most outspoken WWE superstars this company has ever seen. He's brash, never short on self-adoration, and insists he is the most must-see WWE superstar in history. Oh, how can we forget? He just loves telling people he's awesome. What can you share with us about the awesome one? Here's somebody who can do it all, whether it's in solo competition or as part of a team, which we're seeing here tonight. Taking this type of punishment must be damaging to his sternum. Damaging to his entire chest. Not today, too fast. He makes the tag. Oh, look at the Miz. He just got nailed. Yeah, the awesome one's got to be injured here. That was brutal. No call. It's become common knowledge that when Miz came into WWE, he had a run-in or two with superstars back in the locker room. But if you're going to get anywhere in this business, you have to be brash. You have to be confident. And yes, you have to think you're awesome. If he keeps this up, this one will be over in no time. Cole, what's he got in mind? I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. When this guy's on, look out. Oh no, we know what this is. Slam. Oh man, that had to hurt. He is slowly getting dissected. Look out, look out. This could be it. The tombstone pile driver. This one's in the books. Yeah, you don't get up from one of those. He goes for the quick pin attempt. Oh, and he stops the count. What action. Damian Sandow gets out of that one. Nice move. This will be a physical battle. You're right about that, Cole. This is going to be a war. This could be so physical that it gets really ugly before it's over. And Damian Sandow has momentum. Damian Sandow loves punishing those that he consider an ignoramus. Sandow's dangerous forms of attack include the face buster, body scissors, and knee strikes. And it doesn't end there. Damian Sandow will stay on the offensive until you quick cover by Cesaro. Two. Camel clutch. He needs to figure out a way to get to his base and break the hole. He's in big trouble. Talk about a target. The largest bullseye is always on someone's back. Yeah, that's bad. Pinpoint precision on that elbow drop. Right into the center of the chest. King, earlier you mentioned Damian Sandow's choice of offense. Sandow deals with incompetence by flawlessly executing maneuvers like the side Russian leg sweep, the hangman's hand into the cover. There's the Brock Lock. Say adios. This one is over. Nobody gets out of the Brock Lock. Spectacular move against Cesaro right there. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching SmackDown, the second longest running weekly episodic television program in history.
The shoulders are down. We're looking at complete domination here. The enlightened one is the epitome of arrogance and self-adoration. When it comes to the masses, Damian Sandow's disdain seeps through his pores. This cultural elitist will stop at nothing until he's at the very top of sports entertainment and can shove it in the face of all his detractors. Yeah, that's awful, but you know what? That description's being kind, Cole. Damian Sandow is shameless when it comes to highlighting his achievements, insulting others, and is ruthless when it comes to fighting the opposition. We're looking at complete domination here. And there's the tag. Man. He's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Who knows what's broken in there? No kidding. This could be really serious. The intellectual savior of the unwashed masses, Damian Sandow sends audiences as well as WWE superstars into a fury just at the sight of him. And then he opens his mouth, yelling at the crowd, you're welcome, and further berates people while looking to put his opponents out of commission. Added insult to potential injury there. Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, dear. Here we go. Here we go. He's hanging on for dear life. Can he do it? Can he dig down deep and fight out of this hold? Just a dominating display. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. Here we go, here we go. He's hanging on for dear life. I think we may be moments away from seeing his breaking point. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. Here we go, here we go. He's hanging on for dear life. Whoa! Would you look at this? Can you believe it? This is an undying will to succeed. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. And I think he's begging him to bring it. Playing mind games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Looking highly motivated here. Boy, he just got laid out. That's it. He's done. He's setting up. Hey, he's going for it again. Tombstone pile driver. You are never the same after one of those. Here are your winners, homeboy, Luis and Cesaro. You want to talk about a tag team war? We most definitely witnessed just that. This was from bell to bell, a clinic in tag team wrestling. Kudos to everyone. I love tag team matches, and that was one of the best I've seen in a while. Man, this is one of those wins you don't forget anytime soon. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home.